Hi, welcome to the first part of this new video series, the Spurgear Housing. I've already updated the PDF, the 2D PDF, because I've added here an essential dimension which I really need. That would be 193.94 for this height. So, first I want to create some planes. Let's say we start here with zero. So I need one which is six millimeter below, then one is 85 above, and then this one and one which is six millimeter below this one. I want to create one on this side, on that side, and maybe two or three here. So one for that reference here, this one and that one, same on the other side. So here, there and this one. So let's have fun with SOLIDWORKS 2024. Okay, let's create some planes. So a plane with a distance to the top plane and that distance should be 193.94. Minus six millimeter and confirm. Then another one at one nine four one nine three, sorry, one nine three point nine four with a distance to the top plane. Yes, and confirm. Let's take a look. This looks good. Then another one with a distance to the top plane again. And this time it's 12 millimeter. But I want to flip the offset and confirm. Another one from this one in that direction. And that would be 42.5. Confirm. Another one. Again from the front plane. Flip the offset. 42.5. Confirm. Next one. From this one here. And that should be uh, 270, where is it, yeah, that's 270, so it's 135, 135, confirm, and for the moment the last one, Again, make sure you have, haven't selected one, so delete this from this one here. And the offset should be the other way around, so flip the offset and confirm. Great. Now we can do our first sketch and maybe we could try to rename those. So this would be, come on, 193.94 minus 6. That's the one with 193.94. That's the one with minus 12. And this th is the one with 42.5. That would be minus 42.5. That's 135. That would be minus 135. And now we can do our first sketch. Let's go for a sketch on the front plane. And I need a rectangle, maybe like that. 
And then I want to align these with that plane over here. That should be collinear. This one and that one should be collinear. That one and this one should be collinear. Okay, then I need a circle, diameter 600. Take a look. So that point should be aligned with that plane or that point. So go for that center point. Where is it? There you go. And this should be maybe on that plane. Coincident. And then you need a tangency constraint from the circle to that plane and this should be tangent. Okay, let's go for trim. This could be trimmed. That could be trimmed. And this one here looks okay. Confirm. And now we can do our first extrude. So go for an extruded ball space. This should go up to a surface. And that would be this plane here. And on the other side as well. Up to surface. And that would be this surface. Confirm. Now let's do a draft. And there you go. And I want a 3 degree draft. The neutral plane would be the top plane. This one here. And the faces to draft. This one, that one, this one, and that one. And confirm. Looks good. Let's go for a fillet or round. And this should be 70 millimeter on this edge here and that edge. Confirm. And another fillet with 5 millimeter on this edge and that edge here and confirm which gives me my first solid let's hide that one at least for the moment and I want to introduce two more planes so another plane with a distance from the front plane. And that distance would be 62.5. Confirm. And another one. Again from the front plane. 62.5, but flip the offset and confirm. Now let's change those names 62.5 and minus 62.5. Then move this up. This one as well, just to keep it in order. Now I want to reuse that sketch here. 
so make it visible and go for an extruded post base with that sketch here again it should go up to a surface and that would be in that direction this one here and I don't want to merge the result and the second direction would be of course again up to surface and that would be this one here confirm so I've got a second body here and now go for a draft the neutral plane would be the top plane three degrees that's okay and I want to draft this that one this one and that one and confirm then two or well, yeah two more fillets at least in size fillet 70 millimeter on this edge and that edge confirm and two more 20 millimeters on this edge here and that edge here confirm great so maybe hide that second body at least for the moment and maybe hide some of those planes or not i will need two more planes yes and that distance should be 72.5 so again go for the plane distance from the front plane that one and this should be 72.5 and confirm and another one and flip the offset and go again for the front plane as reference so this should be deleted and the front plane should be put right there and confirm now let's hide that sketch here you go and rename those planes to 72.5 and minus 72.5 and bring them up there like this here and the second one as well now a sketch on the front plane so on this one another sketch that would be a rectangle okay and I want to align it with the uppermost plane, so this one and that one should be collinear. Then I could go for the one at the bottom, like that, again collinear. The distance from that plane here should be 43.5 and this distance here should be 3 millimeter confirm confirm and leave that sketch now let's make an extrude with that sketch here it should go up to surface, yes, and that would be 
the last one on this side. Don't merge the result, go for direction 2 again up to surface and that will be the last one over here. And confirm. Then I need a pattern. I need a linear pattern and I want to pattern that body. So go for linear pattern and I want to pattern bodies, that body here. The direction one would be normal to the right plane and I don't need 31, I need only 6 and the distance between those should be 33. Yes, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay and confirm. Now let's hide those planes maybe, would be a good idea. Okay, bring back that body, this should be this one. And now I want to make an intersection with those six bodies and that body. Now let's intersect those bodies here. So go for intersect. I want to intersect this one with that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, and the last one. And I want to intersect. And I don't want to keep all of them, so I will have to go to that region list and deselect this one, the other one, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, and that one, and after all, this one. And that's it, so let's confirm, which gives me those six bodies for the cooling ribs. And I can bring back that first solid. And that's it for the first part of the Spur Gear Housing in SolidWorks 2024. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, X, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.